Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Hey, the Indy 500, 90 days away. Teams are getting ready, and so are the drivers. Taylor Tannebaum went along for one of the drivers as they were working out. On race day, IndyCar drivers spend a few hours sitting behind the wheel, but it's the several hours they put in outside the car that make the difference. For us, it's six days a week. So I come in Monday through Saturday, and, and Sunday's our rest day. And pit fit training is where it all goes down. Zach Veach has been spending a lot of time in this room as he gears up for year two. The physicality of just driving an Indy car, you know, week in and week out was, uh, you know, it was tough. I knew what I'm getting myself into for year two, so we wanted to push as hard as we possibly could just to keep building size. Size is something that has never been on Veach's side. He's five foot four, making him one of the shortest drivers on the track. I do my first Indy 500 and I only weighed like 118. And when I started knowing that this full season was going to come for IndyCar, I started really worrying. I was saying 118. Part of it was I had to gain 20 pounds over the winter to have the strength to drive IndyCar. And I had to gain 20 pounds for my engineer so they could actually fit enough weight in my car to make it legal. Now he's up to 135 pounds. That's thanks to a combination of fitness and food. It's anywhere between four to five and a half thousand calories a day. So, you know, some people think it sounds like a dream. You know, oh, I'd love to do that. But the problem is you get tired of eating. With the season just weeks away, not only is Veach bigger, but his goals are too. We want to finish in the top 10 in the championship. And one way to do that is consistently being in the top 10. And sitting in victory circle on May 26th would be icing on the cake. From Pit Fit Training, Taylor Tannenbaum, Channel 13, Eyewitness Sports.